welcome to my channel again in this channel we like to talk about fondant we like to work with wafer paper we love to work with cake recipes we just love caking it so if that sounds like what you like then please look below and click the subscribe button and don't forget to give us a thumbs up so that other people can love this video and watch it too so today we are going to do fondant ruffles okay so to do that we need a well covered cake if you don't know how to cover a cake i have two videos one will show you how to trim your cake properly and another one will show you how to cover your cake using the panel method i'll be dropping the link below then you should check it out and know how to do that before you get here okay so this is our well covered cake that i have covered using the panel method so we shall be using the same collage fondant which is here a red fondant a small rolling pin i have here some sugar glue it is just edible uh, sorry it is just cmc with some water we'll be needing a scissors a ball uh, tool a ruler and a foam, foam pad and a pizza cutter so let's get started so the first thing you want to do is roll out your fondant very very thinly okay because we are making the uh, ruffles so we need them we need our fondant to be very thin and so because i want my ruffles long around my cake i'm trying to roll out my fondant into a long strip okay always roll your fondant in the direction that you want it to go So now I want to cut out the edges. Okay. So I'm going to be using my ruler to mark out how long I want it to be. So I want it to be about one inch, okay? So I'm going to be making one inch marks. Okay. So I'll just do that. Okay, so with this max, I'm going to be cutting out So this is picking up the first one and with my balling tool, I will just go to the edges and frill Okay Let me start from this side, it makes it easier You can see that as you frill, the edges will start to coil up. Okay, make sure you go around it to the edge until it's coiling up. All right, so now it's time for us to start gluing our ruffles on our cake. So I'm just using the edible glue. You know, I mentioned it earlier. It's just water and CMC. I'm just putting a little bit. Don't put too much or else your uh, ruffles will slide off your cake. So just put just a little to hold your fondant to the body of your cake. 
So now I'm just going to be sticking my ruffles around my cake until I am completely done. I'm even going to try to create a kind of V section in the front of my cake. So do you like to work with fondant? So if you have been watching most of my videos, you know by now that I really, really love to work with fondant. I have learnt it so much. I can virtually wake up from my sleep to make a fondant cake. I love it that much. That being said, I have an ebook, The Perfect Fondant Solution, that talks about everything you need to know about fondant. It also comes with videos and tips for troubleshooting, everything you need to know about fondant okay it's a perfect book if you're interested then you should click in the link below and it will take you to where you can get it okay it's not free it's for a token <laughs> So we are almost done putting all our ruffles around the cake. Remember, you can do it in whatever style you want. And if you are still watching, I think you should give us a thumbs up. Look below, drop a comment, give us a thumbs up, subscribe and share with your friends. We'll be very, very happy to hear from you. So now that we are done with our cake, how do you take off the excess dust? Okay, so the first thing I normally do is brush off the excess dust with a brush and then I use my uh, steamer to take away the excess dust and it will give it some shine. And if you have been watching my video, you will know that I'm a sucker for gold, do gold dust. I really, really love it. Okay, so you can see that the gold dust has enhanced it. And then, of course, what could be better than a wafer paper flower right on top of this cake? So it's just something unique, something beautiful. You can use this as a top, as a, you can do this for a wedding cake, actually. Okay, all your tears can be this way with flowers at different sections of your cake. You can do this for your birthday cake. So if you really loved it or really love to hear from you, give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. I love you so, so, so much. Thank you for always watching our videos.